everybody, it's me, Gareth from Gareth's Vape Review from the very lo lovely folks over at cybersig.co.uk. We are going to be looking at one mod to rule them all, or just a pipe dream. Let's find out with the close up and have a look at this in close up detail. Woo! Hello, and welcome to the close up video for the R80 from our very good friends over at cybersig.co.uk. Now this kit actually does come with the old Trustfire double charger and lead which has been reviewed on other videos. Uh, so that is very good, so you should get some good thing there because there is actually one in this kit but I'm just going to show you that and explain why. You may not be using it but there again you get your Trustfire, you cannot go wrong. So that comes with the kit as well. In the box as well you get this nice little plastic box with a uh, tin. I'm just going to try and get it out. And you'll get this rather... Very nice tin actually, I think yeah, it's quite a nice little tin, it's a good job on the packaging, very strong, tough tin, handy for storing it. But of course we want to see the goods, don't we? But you're going to have to watch the manual first. Ah. Right, so there you go, the R80. Uh, very simplistic manual, I would probably recommend going onto the cybersig.co.uk website and um, I think they've got some more information on it, but it's very, very simple. There's not a huge amount in it. There's actually a bit that comes with this which isn't even covered in the manual, but I think I've worked it out due to my own intelligence. Ah, intelligence. Lucky fella. And here we go. That's what you want to see. Oh, look at that pretty color. This is the gold version. Uh, I, think, I think it was the gold version I ordered. Yes, I did actually order this myself because uh, I kind of liked it. I actually saw um, our very good friend a Vaping Kush have one of these, and I don't know if it's the same one as he got, but, you know, look at that. Yes, and even better... Oh, yes, you do. And you actually get the clear miser with this. Um, you do get some other bits as well, which we'll need to get out because without them, you don't. And that's that charger I was talking about just here. Just to, uh, try and get everything. It is very well packaged. You get this other charger, which is very much a. I'm just going to move you out the way, my little friend. Oh, don't you scratch. Um, one of these sort of you have been standard ones. Uh, I don't know if you should use this or not. I would personally go with the trust fire because it, I know it will work better. But, you know, this is in here. I suppose if you're traveling, you could use it. Um, but like I say, unless you've got one of those European adapters, uh, might not be as good. But you get the they send you this one anyway, so I'd, I'd rather go with the trust file. Just keep this one as a backup or whatever you need to do. I don't know. Now, you do get a couple of batteries with this unit, and you get two different sizes. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, you get your, uh, I think these are the Brill Power 18650 220 mile battery. Um, obviously has built-in protection. Uh, you also get this little diddy 900mAh 18350 and you also get this as well. And at first I wasn't too sure what this was. It's not a kick. I think it's a protection one because I did actually find that um, if I put this straight in there it wouldn't fit. I had to put this on first. I think this is just a little bit of extra protection. So if you do get a kick you could put one in here. It would be possible. So let's break it down shall we. Now uh, this cover will come off. And it will actually show you. I don't know if uh, Vaping Kush had this on this, but I have actually on this one got Ego. Let's see if the old trick works. Eh? And a 510. So you actually do have the ability to put other, other stuff on here. Uh, the guys pretty much recommend these, uh, the ones that come with it. I, don't know, I, don't know if, I think they've actually got a name, but I can't remember what it is. But it's standard 510. Um, appears to be a top style clearomizer with long wicks though I must admit I ordered some spare ones one of mine come with some short wicks as well and I do apologize for the aircraft going over but that is pretty much designed to go in there it's obviously a top filler unscrew the top uh, use the needle point put your reduce in fill it up to the well I think just near to the top actually is what I done screw it all up nice and tightly uh, just screw it into there I have actually tried this with the Kraken it works absolutely fine and will actually still close up fine but I think so you can get the full benefit using these. I think they're purpose made. I'm not 100% sure. But having this on here, I think, really does. And you have two modes of vaping. You have the, I suppose, the gripper style. Or you could actually just have it as a, a pipe like that. And of course, I'll show you how it looks in pipe mode. So how do we get this thing working? Well, we need to unscrew the top. And you will find, oh, we have a very chunky but very solid uh, switching mechanism. I don't know if you guys can actually see that brilliantly. Uh, it does have a locking ring here, so we can actually spin it up and it will lock so it won't go off in your pocket. And this quick flick, I think with practice you could probably flick that down with just one spin. We now have the plunger working. Pretty solid, plastic, C-ring, nice spring, can't complain. Now the actual body is actually telescopic, so we can undo this right the way up here 
Uh, I have these very coarse threads on here, uh, but they seem to work really, really well. And obviously inside here, I don't know how it's going to show up on here. Pretty good, but this obviously is a telescopic design mod. So once you line it up, pretty easy to spin this up and down. So you can use it with a big battery or the small battery. So I'm going to put the small battery in because I think, you know, that's what it's really designed for. But you can actually use an 18650, so if you're stuck, you know, you can actually do it. So you take your little battery, charge it up. I charge mine up at work. Um, this has a little magnet on the bottom, and I'm assuming it clicks on there. Then it goes into the units like so. Dun, 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 dun. Plonk it in. Then take this and screw this on. Thanks to chunking up the chunky things, it's really easy. Screw it down, and then we are good to go. And I'm just going to have a quick vape and see if that works. Bear with me a second. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That is a nice vape. Uh, oh, it's nice. and I think because this has got the top coat, it's nice and warm. But, of course, I'm going to have to give this a good old testing and run through. And I like the fact that I can either vape it like that as a sort of gripper mod, or I can just sit there and vape it like a sir. So there, so there you go. Pretty much all I think I can do it. Of course, I can actually see if this locking mechanism works. Yep, there we go. It goes up, and yep, that is not firing. Hang on. No, it locks the switch nice, and the threads on this are really, really nice. Of course, the other way to use this is, of course, with this 18650. Now, you will find occasionally when you undo this, you might have this little tube come out. If it does, don't worry. Again, I'm going to take this off. I think you can probably buy more of these little protection circuits if you need them. Uh, goes onto the bottom. Uh, we're going to slide that into there. Ooh. Now, I don't know how far this has got to come, but because it is a, a telescopic mod, I don't think it really matters too much. You can just put everything together like so. And then screw this down so it won't go any further. And there we go. Let's give that a try, see if that works. Mm. Yes, plenty of vapour. It looks a bit odd, and I can see if you try to... Here, uh, yeah, I can see what the problem's going to be straight away, is it's going to be very hard to use this as a gripper mod. You're going to have to have this extended if you use the 18650. So I think for my vaping pleasure this evening... Just fold it off, there we go. I am probably going to use the smaller battery, and I think the smaller battery battery. Maybe if they put two of the smaller batteries in, that would have been better. Um, but I suppose it's because it's an option, it's there if you can use it. And I suppose, you know, if you use other heads on this, of course, you could get some, you know, different stems. But I think for me, in the little 900, nine, in the, sorry, 900 watt mode, 900 ma mode, I think that looks a bit better, and it does give you that ability to stealth it as well. But you can also have extended. A nice little spig on here seems to be quite good and it seems to sit really well in whatever mode but at least if you want to use an 18650 you can so i will give it a try and give you guys some more feedback so there you go that's the close-up uh back to the main review i suppose and i'll see you in a sec elementary my dear, dear watson gesture with pipe yep so here it is um i've got mine in a slightly different configuration now, this is the R80, as you saw from the close-up video. It comes with um, two sets of battery. This is the small one. This is the one that brings it back to normal size. But I've got it in the 18650 mode, uh, mainly because this was on charge. But again, um, so it's a pipe mod. It's a very nice pipe mod. It can go between almost like a gripper like this. Unfortunately, with the 18650 battery, doesn't work quite as well unless you do a few little changes. But overall, I'm really impressed. Um, this is the gold one, though it looks more like a pinky gold. Mm, Dimensionally pink. But um, it's a it's weighty as well. Um, I have been vaping on this probably the last week or so and really enjoying it. I do get laughs from my wives. But it's nice to have a mod that's a little bit different from all the others. You know, it's um, uh, whether I'd actually use this outside or not, probably in its smaller mode, I would. But anyway. Um, Again, we have some good attention to detail. We do have a vent hole, which is excellent. Um, the switch on this is really, really nice. I I didn't realize how good these plunger types were. It's very smooth, very easy to use. Now, it does have a locking ring, but I do have a little issue, which I think the locking ring is a little bit too small. It's a little bit hard sometimes to, to grab it and then flick it up to lock the switch. I feel it could just be just a little bit bigger and it would be a lot easier to use but you can just about do it but it's a little bit fiddly so they just made it just a little bit bigger 
it'd be spot on perfect. Uh, construction wise, really, really impressed here. Um, like I say, everything goes together new. There's no no looseness. There's no rattly. It is telescopic as well, and we're just going to that in just a sec. But uh, things like this, I do love. Now with this kit, you will get um, these special little clear misers. Um, you don't have to use them. I'm going to go for that in just a sec. But I'm going to say these give a very warm vape when you actually um, have a toot. Mm. The vapor is very, very warm. Now it is um, sorry, dogs barking next door. Uh, it is um, there's no variable voltage on this guy. It's a mod, which means it uses the battery, the connector, and the atomizer, and you. And that is it. There's no fancy smancy um, VV VW. You're literally like a lot of people see it's like mods. So it's about I think it's about three point seven volts, maybe a bit higher, maybe four point two to start with. But as the battery drains, this will drop down. Now you've got no end of battery indicators. You're going to have to go on taste. So once it starts to get a bit not tasty, that will usually mean your battery is charging. You don't want to drain your batteries right down. Lithium ion does like that. It likes like about 10% left. And with most modern e-cigs, they tend to work that out and then flash. And there's still a bit of charge in there, but it just keeps. So with these ones, you have to be a little bit more careful. So not for the beginner vapor. Probably more with the moderate mod vapor. Who you know the mod vapor, mod vapor. Um, the more sort of you know you've been vaping for a little while you've been reading the forms checking out the blog checking out the websites you start to know a little bit more so for beginner it might not be the best thing it would be bad but it wouldn't be the best thing and also you will need a backup while this is charging of course you do get two batteries but anyway so yeah um one of the things i do like about this is the fact that it is an ego 510 so you have got really good as long as it can fit on here um one of the ways i currently use this and i've just realized I've, ah, that is is uh you can still get your beauty rings on and for me when i've got the 18650 battery and again you can still play around which is really really good so you're still you're not locked into a certain you know clear miser type this is the um oh, maximus the maximus tank which is uh, probably one of the best nova tanks i've come across it has it actually has its own airflow in here which is really nice and now you have this and again with the obviously you can't close it up but we've got it like this you can still Mm. have a vape I think the battery's starting to go in this one which is probably why the vapor's coming down we're going to swap the batteries over in a minute anyway so you can still play around uh, so you can have it as a you know a pipe mod so you can have it out you can have it in so it's more of a grippery touch so you can sort of stealthy vape but um, obviously you know you've got a good you can use all the different um, clearmizers and cartomizers out there um, you can use a car I've actually got the cut this cartomizer tank uh, this is one of my own ones and I'm going to use a cartomizer tank with this. And again, you can't close it up, but it closes up enough. And even when it's cl closed, you've got plenty of base. I do love the spring, hides a lot of the details. So it's very stable when you put it down. Mm. Mm. I think that's cherry in there. But yeah, so you can play around. You're not locked into using the actual, but it's still a good little clear miser, this one, that you pipe one. Uh, available separately on the site. And of course, uh, you could use a cartomizer with the little cover here, but I think really having it like this sort of uh, finishes it off. I think these two are designed to work together, but you can use other stuff, which I really, really like. And that's uh, now you can close it right in and get it all nice and flush. So you could probably take this out and put one of those big cartomizers in it if you're a cartomizer person, which is really nice. Now, it is a telescopic mod, which means it can take batteries in between and out of actual thing now i've probably taken that part the wrong way uh one thing you will get in the kit is this little disc uh this is basically a safety fuse um i would probably recommend doing it just for added you've got protection in the batteries anyway but just as an added protection you've got that so that goes on the bottom and if you, you know this is an 18650 you get one of these and an 18350 which is one of these in the kit let me just double check yeah 18350 900 milliamps 3.7 volts and this is the 18650 maxed out at 2200 mAh. Um, again, uh, I think it's 3.7 volts. So, yeah. So, with the little battery, you're going to have to use this. You probably could put a kick in here if you've got one. Uh, it's certainly got the room. And because it's telescopic, this basically means um, you've got these lovely coarse threads. So, you can actually have it here. You can have it here. You can, depending on the size of your battery. So, even if your batteries have a slightly different 
uh, height all thing they can go now of course to get it into the what I call the classic mode you do have to use the 18350 and of course you can take this off separately as well and it all screws apart and it's really buttery smooth so put your little uh, magnet into the negative side of the battery like so really easy drop that in and now you can put your switch on and obviously do it all up now of course I have a little bit of trouble because I'm not used to undoing and doing up mods this is quite new territory for me to be really honest but now we can just do that right up and now we have a, a bit more of a, and also the 18350 you have that more easy to use gripper mm. and that's the difference a freshly charged battery make i've been using this for two days and it is still i can still get it but with a freshly charged battery the flavor gets really nice and warm and to me that looks a little bit better and of course now we can do you know sit there and bake Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the cat is giving me a round of applause there in the litter tray typical never do a video with animals people never work with children and animals luckily children's not a problem animals is a problem but there you go and now it looks a little bit more and i prefer it in this smaller mode to me perhaps they should have made two 18 wow one fast cat um they should have done like two of the smaller batteries because to me this really makes it look a lot better to me that looks more like a pipe mod or a gripper mod so yeah so overall um if you're into your mods you want something a little bit more different definitely check out this iat it's got all the fixtures and fittings so you can put other stuff on there carto tanks bigger tanks smaller tanks even c uh fours you can stick on here as well i'm gonna try this with c4 it seems to work better with um tanks that have a um a, a top coil so it, the vapor's warmer and that's more pipe like uh, obviously with a good tobacco in there i'm going to stick this one on here so again not too bad and you can still do the gripper with it as well mm. Mm. and again the quality of vapor will depend on your atomizer and or the charge of the battery because there's no regulation here you are getting what the battery can give you so you're literally coming straight off the battery so it is a little bit different but all in all in fact, my favorite combination for the last few days has actually been beauty ring on like so and again i think some of them don't have this sort of uh, thing so it does actually open up to thing and uh it's just using the maximus tank on this because it's a top quill beautiful um beautiful flavor beautiful voltage it's sort of mash i'll have to get the right color uh obviously you can't close it right up but that doesn't matter but you can uh mm. Mm -mm. That is a beautiful vapor. So there you go, guys. That's the R80 from my very good friends at cyberseek.co.uk. Um, check it out. If you want something a little bit different and you've been vaping for a little while, hit it out. If you're into your mods, check them out. Beautiful stuff. And there'll be more soon. So many thanks to the guys there. And, of course, for more information, just check in the video notes all there. And no ukulele and no singing. They did do it. Okay, guys. Have a great time. Catch you next time. Bye for now and vape safe. Hi. If you enjoyed watching this video, please go and check me out over at www.gaffwitty.co.uk where you'll find my blog, videos and all the stuff that I do. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next video. Bye for now.